Hello, I am Dogbert here in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, which I am really enjoying again after coming back, especially on my Hyperdrive account. Hyper Bundle, whatever the hell it's called, account. I spent $50 because it was on sale, and my god, is it broken. Does it give you huge advantages that you don't even realize just how broken it really is? To start off, let's look at my uh, characters I currently have, which I'm still trying to figure out whether I want to go for Sith Eternal Emperor or Supreme Leader Kylo Ren first. As a Galactic Legend, I'm leaning towards Sith Eternal Emperor because I really want Imperial Troopers up and running. And, you know, you got to play these games at this point. You got to go for what you really want to do. But, you know, I have Grand Admiral Thrawn. Got him day one. My Vader is getting up there. He's almost seven stars, and that is a very important uh, achievement to get to have one seven-star character because once you have one seven-star character, you're now eligible for Heroic Pit and Heroic... Um, uh, the one with Grievous, that raid. that gets you uh, General Kenobi. And that might not seem like much, but you can definitely get carried by a guild or alliance to start getting those shards. And that is incredibly important to start building those characters because they are essentially time locked uh, behind you know X amount of raids you have to do. I have been working a bit on Tarkin just because I'm using him in my ship arena. We'll get to fleet arena in a bit. Uh, got some free. You get a bunch of free shards uh, just for playing the game. Really, you get these uh, different little events. You're going to get more shards. I am definitely working on Phoenix. Uh, as you can see, I'm bringing up Edge Ezra, Brian Kanan, uh, buying Zeb wherever he is at, because this thing doesn't really sort. And eventually I will go after Hera after I get Ezra to 6, I'll get Hera to 6, etc. Because this doesn't get you one legendary, it gets you two in Emperor Palpatine and Thrawn. And speaking of them, then you have an Empire team. Once you have that Empire team... I already uh, got BB-8 because they gave me the First Order characters. I got Grandmaster Yoda because they gave me a five Jedi that I was able to get this already on day one. R2-D2, day one again, able to get that. Unlocked Emperor, Unlocked Thrawn. These are just so many characters you don't realize that you just get for nothing, really. And when it comes to ships, it gets even just as broken. And the reason being this vulture droid ship they give you this vulture droid ship does not have a pilot meaning you don't are not tied to a pilot being geared up to be max uh max efficiency it just is essentially like having a gear 13 character in there this makes the vulture droid incredibly broken when you're first starting out with a hyperdrive bundle and should definitely be in your fleet I've actually already got a, a six-star Slave 1, uh, miraculously. Uh, just really dumb luck there. I went and uh, spent some crystals. I wanted to try my luck and gamble, and that's what I ended up with, Slave 1. And the bounty hunter ships you get, uh, Zandu and the IG-2000. I've been putting a little bit into the bounty hunters just to make these ships more powerful because of how important Fleet Arena has become because Squad Arena doesn't really matter. Except just to get some more uh, shards. It's nice having the Imperial TIE Fighter. You can see I already got a 4-star Executress and Endurance. Don't have the home one yet. That will come eventually. And when we look at Squad Arena, it's really, um, well, quite boring for me right now. Because this is what most of my battles look like. Until I get into the other Hyperdrive Bundle people, it's very boring. I've just been slowly moving up. As much as I can, I started, I don't know, it was like 14,000 something. It's ridiculous. But, uh, this is pretty much it. This is very difficult. I don't even target, I just hit buttons. I could hit auto. I'm gonna win, because I'm beating up these free-to-play players. Congratulations, I have now moved up to what? Was it 100 something? 188. Just like that. Just beat up another free-to-play player. And you see, once my next refresh comes, I'm going to beat up another free-to-play player. Now, where the real battle comes in is the uh, Fleet Arena. Want to get top 50 in Fleet Arena because that actually gives crystals if you look at the prizes. It happens once you hit 50. Plus, you get, of course, more Fleet Arena credits. That's another thing we'll get into. 
but just how broken this is. Now, this has gotten much more difficult because I am hitting people now who have bought the Hyperdrive bundle. Uh, believe it or not, the easier of the... Well, let's go for the highest. Let's see how I do. Now, this is going to be a bit more challenging. This is the fleet I am running, though. I'm running with my Grand Marf Tarkin, uh, my Kylo Ren TIE Silencer, the IG-2000, the Xandu Blood. I have the Slave 1 as a reinforcement, and the Vulture Droid as a reinforcement. Because when you call the Vulture Droid for a reinforcement, he blinds all the ships that are out in the field on the other side of the team, on the other team. So, that is incredibly powerful. It allows me to get some of these wins. Let's see if I get another win here. Alright, let's, uh, we're not gonna, he can dodge too much, so we're not gonna try to stun him. Let's try to stun the ghost. Got the stun, that's good. We'll keep working on ghost. Uh, just really want to get rid of ghosts in case they have the phantom as a reinforcement, because that is incredibly annoying. The ability block the, their slave one. Uh, let's just do a start. nope, no stun there. Lost Zandu. That Tie Fighter can be quite annoying. Now I'm not going to bring out the Vulture Droid just yet. There's only two ships on the field, and more than likely they're going to bring out a reinforcement. So I'm going to save it for when they have that reinforcement. And I got the taunt with my Slave One as well. Here comes their reinforcement. It was the Phantom. So that's not a surprise. Let's try to get rid of their Slave One. Got rid of it. Good. And let's go. Uh, he has a very good chance of dodging. Okay, let's power him up. Uh, let's just do a basic. Basic again. There we go. TIE Fighter gone. We are not we might not even need the Vulture Droid at this point. Oh, we get to bring him out. Let's bring him out. You see, boom, blind means they're gonna miss. I'm gonna miss with the dodge here. I don't really don't care at this point. I got the win. And I get to move up yet again. And this will become very important once I hit 50. Now I'm up to 79. If I'm getting extra crystals, that gives me more energy refreshes, which gets me more gear. Um, the other thing that's really broken with when we come to fleets, which I didn't realize it until today when I got the fleet challenges, because Monday you get all the fleet challenges. Is actually on the ship ability now notice it says no valid capital ship here i'm actually uh over here on this tier four this is the one where you can start getting zetas and stuff like this i'm actually able to sim this already because of the hyperdrive bundle and i got zetas out of this that is incredibly broken you if you know anything about star wars galaxy heroes uh being able to get a zeta like that is absolutely ridiculous I can already farm Zetas without even trying or even getting it. Never mind the fact that all these challenges, daily challenges, I can just hit the sim and get all that extra gear. And they've increased the gear with the purple gear, like the stun guns, which were such a big bottleneck, which made me quit because they wouldn't release it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. The other thing is I have next to no mods. So, I've been trying to unlock these things as little as possible. When I have energy, I just dump it all into these mod challenges. I just need to get mods. I don't care what level what they are right now. Just getting something is better than nothing, I feel. Until I get to the point, now I'm looking for mods, of course, I want to keep into the future and eventually look to slice. But I'm not even going to worry about slicing, getting the slicing materials yet because I just need to get the mods themselves. Once I have mods themselves and I can actually put them on my characters, then I'll start worrying about slicing materials. As far as like I got energy here, I am trying to uh, get Bosk, but I need to get uh, more powerful allies and more powerful characters because I can't quite uh, get through his node very well. Let's just see if I got anybody that can help me out here. So I'll put my uh, ally code down then below. As you can see, I don't have, really have very many good allies right now that I can borrow from. A nice Darth Revan or something, a, a Supreme Leader Kylo Ren maybe, which allowed me to three-star this maybe, and then, yeah. 
Uh, the other thing I must suggest if you're getting the hyperdrive bundle is immediately start farming Django Fett. You might think, well, why do you want to go for a bounty hunter? Well, the reason why Django, the Django Fett node has something else we need. These are very valuable nodes, and that is the Hound's Tooth, which you need for Bosk as well. This is going to help in that fleet arena, getting top 50, getting crystals, you get the idea. Plus, there's stun cuffs out here, and that's why I have Django getting farmed as well. But the other thing is, I'm just trying to work on gear. I am short on resources. One of the things that you don't get too much of are the ability materials. I can't just take everybody up like I would love to and can do on my other accounts. I don't. I can't even get all the gear I need for Thrawn yet to get him up the gear tier. I do have some energy. Let's quick burn that. You can see I can go for like the... I, lo I love these double drop nodes where you get... Uh, let's say that's Bo-Katan there. You can get Joe Lee. I eventually want to do that. You'll see like a Bad Batch character. There's Echo. You got Farm Boy Luke, which you need for things. Snow Trooper and the um, Indiana Jones thin. Finn is there. And a lot of this was all, except for like anything like 9, I could just hit the sim button all, always. I don't have to work through these. And it's absolutely fantastic that I don't have to work through these. Because I am lazy and I have spent money now, so I deserve it. Yes, that's what I feel. <laughs> that's not really what I think, but uh, if you're going to spend money, I, I honestly can't say. And the other thing is war. Now, I remember this was like 150 battles you had to win. I only had to win one, and then I got the multi-sim. I don't know if that still remains for free-to-play. Uh, I would have to start a free-to-play account to even find out, and I don't really want to do that. Uh, the other nice thing is I am actually enjoying this game. I can play for 20, 30 minutes a day and just be completely done. I could only log in once, play, and be done for the entire day if I want it to be. Now, of course, it's more advantageous to log in, do some extra battles here and there, get the extra energy, but you don't really need to do that if you don't really want to play that way, unlike a certain Marvel Strike Force game, where you better log in or get fucked, Commander. As far as events go, I am still doing this how to use Rebels, yay. This is just a time-locked event that everybody gets once they get to a certain level. It's just easy free shards. And the other day we also had the uh, Galactic Assault, I think it's called, where you could use Rebels and Clones. It worked out really well for my uh, Jedi Knight Dogbird account because he got some very nice Relics things. Got uh, Ray up to Relic 6. Almost got, uh, almost have enough now to get to Relic 7. Just need to get some more mod pieces. Uh, relic pieces, sorry, not mod. Relic pieces. And I can start working on getting Grandmaster Luke Skywalker as my first Galactic Legend on that account. You see, these are very simple battles. I really haven't changed anything. Let's try to stun Thrawn. Nope, no luck. Now, these are characters you get loaned to. These are not my actual characters. But this will just reward me some extra shards for free. I mean, this is great. It's almost like they said, hey, we have these things made. Why don't we just make it available to everybody and not be dicks about it and uh, not let people farm characters for, like, you know, a year on. They'll be dicks about other things, though. Don't worry. Especially gear. They hate, hate you with gear. Oops. I didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that either. I don't I did. I don't know. I'm still trying to remember what, uh, who, what counters what. As we'll see when it comes to games for Grand Arena, I'll probably be playing very slow. I don't know. Should I stream Grand Arena? Should I try streaming on YouTube or something again? Or maybe on uh, Twitch? I don't know. You want to see me fail at Grand Arena because I don't know all the counters and I don't remember them all? I could use the help, honestly. If somebody wanted to join me and coach me a little bit, I could really use that. Because, um... I remember, like, Rebels is like a bounty hunter com counter, but now I think things have changed. And I'm very interested to see, once we get a Grand Arena going, how, how the free-of-play count will do. How uh, this hyperdrive, I mean, hyperdrive bundle account will do, not free-to-play. Yeah. Hard from free-to-play here. I'm really interested to see how it does. I'll probably get matched up against other hyperdrive drive bundle uh, opponents. At least I would hope so. But if I get a match against a free-to-play player... Who's beneath me? Oh my god, that'll be incredibly broken. 
I, got, I can't wait to get a Commander Luke Skywalker on this account. I just love Luke, period. I would try to get a Jedi Knight Luke, because I like the green lightsaber. That's what really made me fall in love with Star Wars. Give you an idea how old I am, I actually saw Return of the Jedi in the theaters when I was three years old. And that's the, the Luke I remember and fell in love with. Green lightsaber Luke. Yeah, right, just trying to get through. This looks like I'll actually get... I thought I clicked click the wrong. Oh, that's the other thing I gotta mention. This runs beautifully on blue stacks. I'll put a link down below if you want to play this on blue stacks. So it tells me that a, the implementer of blue stacks itself is not the problem with Marvel Strike Force. It's the way Marvel Strike Force is coded. Uh, so something there has to be done on the Marvel Strike Force side to make it so it runs better on blue stacks or any emulator. It's really just Marvel Strike Force I've ever seen that problem with. This took me a lot longer than I expected. That's why I've been rambling. Also, I wanted to mention, I got to go to Hollywood Studios down in Disney World this last weekend and just immerse myself in Star Wars. So I'm really hyped up for Star Wars now. Because of that, uh, I do live in Florida. I am actually thinking about starting a second channel just to explore Disney World more. Um, you know, how to navigate it. Uh, for people who come from out of state, I know I have family and friends. They're always asking me questions. I figure maybe I'll start another channel and just dedicate it to, you know, not just to Disney World, but to SeaWorld where I go a lot. And just the other things that people don't know exist that you can do in Florida. If this is something you'd like to see, let me know and I'll get that channel started. You see I got the uh, uh, free shards there. This is just excelling me even more. The fact that I can do Conquest. Uh, I always forget where Conquest is. Oh, here it is. Now, am I taking it very seriously? No, obviously I'm not. But I'm still getting rewards. This is things that the, those free-to-player players can't even think about getting. It's just creating a bigger and bigger gap. Oh, now I got how to use the Empire. I'll have to do that then. Let's see what the possible rewards for that are now. It doesn't tell me. But I can do... Maybe I can do this Galactic Challenge. You know, even if I only do, like, Tier 3, Tier 2, this is still gear that I would be getting... I was able to do this, get the Omega material already. Things that, you know, you couldn't get the, uh, normally. Looks like we have an Assault Battle coming up. I think that's the one we use Jedi, so I'll be okay on that one, I think. But this just gives you an idea just how broken this Hyperdrive bundle really is. And if you're willing to spend $50 right now, I think it's on for a couple more days, that sale. And you really want to play this game and you don't mind spending that money you'll be getting a huge advantage. Not just on day one, but in the following subsequent days, if you know a little bit about what you're doing, you're not even knowing what you're doing half the time. Like, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm trying to remember things. Some things are coming back to me. Uh, you know, like what counters to use for what. But it's very interesting. Um, I, didn't I knew it was a pretty good advantage. I didn't realize just how broken it really was of an advantage. I really wish something like this would come to Marvel Strike Force because we do need newer players to rise up in the ranks. I know um, even in my alliance in uh, Marvel Strike Force, it, it's very hard to recruit enough people to do the Doom 3.4 who have the rosters built out. And it just takes so long to build up those rosters because of how little uh, resources we have. But uh, I think that's going to wrap up this video. Let me know if you want that Florida tourism channel or not. If you have any interest in that, I don't know. It might be a totally different audience. But until next time, everybody.